Is there a way in Ableton Live while you're working in session view to make one scene automatically go to the next scene? So today we're taking a look at how to advance scenes from one to the next automatically within session view. Now if you have standard, Ableton Live standard, you can uh, acquire Max for Live. Uh, and if you have the suite, it comes with it. And this is how we are going to use um, this feature today by using a Max for Live device. Now, I went to a website right here isotonic studios and when I go to control here it is follow clip and scene follow actions so um, this is a max for live device that will enable us to do what we're trying to do of advancing scenes from one to the next automatically so I created a folder added it to my browser do the add folder feature right here and as you can see it's right here when I come over here in the right hand browser you see follow scene but let me explain how this works if I put this on one track that has something in everything uh, in, in every slot it's going to work so you could do click you could do Q um, I am choosing to do Q and I'll get into that later but first to show you follow scene it's very simple. We're going to click our first cue track. We're going to click on follow scene. And now it's loaded down here. This is a very simple procedure. All we have to do is go to trigger type, clip end, and go to next. And that's it. Now, every song or every item that is right next to each other and has something in the Q folder uh, or the Q track will automatically launch to the next at the end of that scene. This empty scene right here serves as a break. It will stop because there is nothing in the Q track right here. If we want to add one, I'm just going to duplicate this and say I want my front of house guys to control the intro since they have to turn off a music source and turn on another one so now the intro video will go it'll queue it up it'll stop and then we have to re um, re-trigger song one which will automatically go into a welcome and it won't go into a vamp unless I put a cue there um, but that's just where I stuck my vamp and now when I click on number two at the end of that track it will roll right into three four here we have another break, five, and that will roll into the first screen of the message or a message video if we have that. Another break, and then we have our invitation song, a break because someone comes up to pray, and then we have our closing song. And we'll get into the closing song in a different video. Let's take a, a look at another aspect of this equation which is the clips of the songs himself. If you look down here in my launch box, you will see that I have it set up for a follow action, 129 and stop. It's important that if you're using um, multiple tracks to make sure, just double check and make sure that all of them have the same amount of measures so that they stop when you tell them to stop because remember we're working with the clip end so really this follow action you're saying this is the clip end um, and you're determining that for follow scene if they're set at different things you will find that out quickly I usually just go through I highlight everything that I'm working with even my MIDI tracks I go down here set 129 follow action stop and I'm good to go. So I do that with every song. And one final aspect is up here in your left hand corner, your global settings. I have it set to none instead of one bar. 
Um, say you have a, a song where there's a retard at the end, and it, so it doesn't end right on measure 129. Maybe it stops at 131.22. Then you need to set that in the launch sequence down here to that. But if you leave it on a bar, what's going to happen is it's going to complete that measure, then it's going to roll down into it. Uh, let's go to the queue and look at what you have to do again. Trigger action or trigger type, clip end. Follow action type, next. And that's all you have to do. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. If it has, would you consider hitting like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be notified when more helpful videos are uploaded here at Geared for Worship, where we are helping worship ministries work more efficiently to be more effective.